Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an issue you're having with the Windows command line that says that process exited with code 1. So if you're having a this error message, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And then we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to go and start by opening up the search icon, little magnifier icon, type in PowerShell. Best result should go back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now into this elevated PowerShell window, go ahead and copy the command I'm going to have in the description of the video, guys. So the first letter is a path, so it's a C drive on my computer. If your Windows directory is on a different drive letter and before you paste it into this PowerShell window, paste it into like a WordPad file or a Word file and then just change the drive letter. You'll see in a second, so I'm just going to copy and paste it right in here. So in order to paste it into the PowerShell window once you've copied it from the description of my video, so again copy it, it will be in the description, and then right click on the top bar of the PowerShell window here. Select edit and then select paste to paste it in. So again you can see in my case it's a C drive, like I said if you have Windows is on a different drive letter change it before you paste it in here. So if it's on the D drive or the E drive, that's the only variable possibly you might encounter here. So in my case, it wasn't able to find that specific file because I'm not having that issue, but you can see it's going to be deleting this issue from the registry, which would clear it up in your case. So if you're still having a problem after you've done that, if you close out of here, try and open up the search menu again, type in CMD, open up the command prompt window as an administrator. So right click on it and run as administrator. Select yes, and now type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Go ahead and close out of here at this point and restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.